The topic of encouragement this week is this. So keep your courage. God wants you this week, despite the mishaps, despite the brokenness, the loss, the need, the lack, the trials, the testings, keep your courage. You see, it's important for us as children of God to keep our courage. Why? When we have courage, it allows us to stand firm in our faith. When we have courage, it allows us to hope and to expect from God. When we have courage, it allows us to persevere. When we have courage, it allows us to never stop believing that God will keep every single promise to us. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27, Paul was on a journey. The Lord promising Paul, you're going to go have trial before Caesar. But on this journey, Paul went through a lot, mishaps, storms and trials and testings. But the Lord made Paul a promise. He said to Paul, storms are going to come, but guess what? I'm going to preserve every life. I'm going to be with you. All will be well. And so Paul encouraged everyone on the ship, keep up your courage. Why? He trusted God to keep his promises. Do you trust God to keep the promises he has made in his words and over your life? What if you trust God today? He's saying to you, don't lose hope. Keep up your courage. Don't lose hope. Don't let the enemy allow you to lose hope. Keep trusting me. Keep believing me. Keep waiting upon me. Keep declaring my words. Don't just read them and then just let them go by the wayside. Start believing them. Start acting them out. He's saying today, I am with you. You can trust me in the process. You're going through the process. You're following me. And because you're following me, things are going to try to stop you. Because the prince of this world is always coming. But remember what God says. He has no hold on you. The enemy cannot defeat the purpose God has for you. In Job 42 verse 2, it says, No purpose of God can be thwarted. God promised that he will not withhold any good thing good from his children. If you are a child of God, then you know that whatever the Lord says in his words, he will bring it to pass. Keep hoping. Keep your faith. Keep your trust. Keep your confidence. Keep persevering. Keep believing. The promises of God are yes and amen. Paul told them, so keep up your courage. Because the Lord, who I serve and believe in, told me that everything is going to be okay. Guess what? It doesn't look good right now. But God says it's going to be okay. You're going to come through. You're going to have the victory. You're going to celebrate. Keep up your courage. You need it to believe. You need it to stand. You need to have confidence. You need it to persevere. And more importantly, you need it to keep hoping and to keep having that great expectancy that God will do just like he said. So keep up your courage. God bless you. And I'll talk to you next week and be encouraged. Remember, keep up your courage. Don't be distracted. Keep your eyes upon Jesus. Heal.